After the release of the BMW's R1300GS and the warm welcome it received, KTM is actively working on a thorough facelift of the Super Adventure. Anticipated to hit dealerships by the 2025 season, a crucial aspect of this upgrade involves a comprehensive revision of the engine. It is expected that the Super Adventure will incorporate the same engine as in the 1390 Super Duke R, the massive 1350cc V-twin. Following KTM's nomenclature, the new designation is likely to be the 1390 Super Adventure. The modifications introduced in the airbox and throttle valves of the Super Duke are also poised to make their way into the adventure bike. This strategic enhancement aligns with KTM's commitment to advancing the Super Adventure's capabilities, ensuring a more powerful and refined riding experience for enthusiasts. The exhaust manifolds of the Super Adventure seem to have a larger diameter in the test bike photos, suggesting a potential torque increase despite the unchanged manifold routing. Anticipated peak performance is set to rise to approximately 170 bhp, but it remains uncertain if the Super Adventure will incorporate the camshift variable valve control, a feature introduced with the 1390 Super Duke R. It is possible that KTM might initially opt not to include this feature, allowing room for differentiation in the two top models expected to follow later. Moreover, KTM appears to be in the process of developing a cutting-edge transmission system. This innovation could take the form of an automated manual transmission, according to the patent submitted by the Austrians in February 2023. The system utilizes a shift motor, an automatic clutch, and an integrated parking brake. It's worth noting that this feature may be offered as an optional extra and is expected to be made available at a later date. The KTM 1390 Super Adventure stands out visually with its larger fairing, providing enhanced wind protection. Attention to wind protection is evident in all models, highlighted by the redesigned front lamp. Unlike the previous split face design, the new front lamp adopts the 3D look from the 990 Duke and the 1390 Super Duke R, adding a distinctive touch to its appearance. In my personal opinion, this new model looks much better than the current one. In the spy pictures, we can see small flaps arranged within the new headlight unit. These flaps serve as spoilers to enhance wind protection. Another prototype featured front brake rotor covers and a lamp fairing on top, likely to enhance aerodynamic efficiency. But most prototypes lack these covers for both brakes and lamps. This suggests that both could potentially be optional extras offered later on. Albeit concealed under heavy camouflage, this pre-production test mule features a notably large infotainment screen. The exact size is unknown due to the camouflage, but it appears to fall within the dimensions of a larger tablet around 11 to 13 inches. This feature is expected to be a consistent element across all variants. The upcoming model lineup is set to expand. Like its predecessor, the S variant will feature a 19-inch front wheel and semi-active suspension. The R version, designed for off-road adventures, will come with a 21-inch front wheel and fully adjustable suspension. A Super Adventure model, equipped with a 21-inch front wheel ideal for touring, has been glimpsed in the past, but its inclusion in the series remains uncertain. If everything goes according to KTM's plan, we can expect to see this off-road beast on showroom floors by spring 2025. So, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.